It's the Trader Tip of the Week, and I'm Chris Vermeulen from the TechnicalTraders.com. Now, taking a look at the markets, we are getting into what I think is the late stages of the stock market, the bull market in equities. I do think there's still quite a bit of upside potential in this bull market for stocks. But during these last phases, when commodities typically start to come to life and eventually outperform all other sectors, including the indexes, uh, going forward here and we're starting to see commodities come back to life now this is the uh, DBC commodity index tracking fund uh, we had the uh, Omicron virus come out and, and do some damage to the chart but overall the chart has, is rebounding with a vengeance it's coming back to life and it looks like it's put in a pretty major bottom now this is a blend of commodities uh, but what I like to really look at is the Toronto Stock Exchange it's commodity heavy uh, metals uh, oil uh, when we take a look at it uh, we can see here that, let me just draw on the chart, you can see we had a recent kind of little pullback, a little blip, and then we went into a, a big bottom, a bounce, a double bottom, and then it kind of had a uh, breakout here where it took off to the next level. Well, if we take a look where we are now, we've had a very similar sell-off. We've got a bounce, we're back down to a major low, put in a double bottom, and now we're right back up at the at these top, this top here where we could start to see a break and a run for commodities to take uh, another leg higher going forward. Uh, if we take a look at, uh, for example, like GDXJ, which are the gold miners, I think gold, silver, and miners are trying to put in a significant market bottom. If we zoom into the recent price action here, we can see that we've got increased volatility. We've seen some big gaps to the downside, huge drop intraday, followed by a big strong rally, and then a move the following session on some huge volume. That's usually a sign of a capitulation and exhaustion low that you could argue here is a one bottom, a double bottom, and now it's starting to break through this kind of neckline. You could argue here there's a head or shoulder, head and a shoulder here. It's breaking through and starting to run up. Now it still needs to get through the 50 day, but overall this looks like the signs of a bottoming pattern. It's starting to move up and come to life. And if we look at silver miners like SILJ, very similar type of price action, strong drop, bounce, a big flush out low, and now it's rallying back up. So we're starting to see these commodities come back to life. Toronto Stock Exchange is showing that overall equities around the commodity space are starting to firm up and on the verge of a breakout and run. And so that's what I really like are the, uh, the commodity sector. Looking forward, you know, one, two, three months from now, I think these commodities and, and these uh, uh, potential ETFs could be trading dramatically higher and becoming uh, major leaders in this market as we see the stock market mature as a, a bull market. Anyways, that's it for this week. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.